So as this knockout force makes his way to the octagon, Joe, this is not a guy you want to stand on a napkin in the center of the octagon and trade punches with. You get in a slugfest with this guy, more often than not, you're concussed, twitching on the canvas. You can be sure he'll be looking to make contact and find a home for those heavy hands early and often. Power for days, power in all of his strikes. Scary, scary addition to this division, and a guy who a lot of people believe will be an immediate content. This guy's an excellent grappler. What he wants to do here is get this fight, maybe press his opponent up against the cage, bring the fight to the ground, use his ground and pound and his submission skills. So as this young fighter makes the walk here tonight, you know his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent down? Because once I get him to the mat, I know I can keep him there. Joe, this guy has a top game as scary as anybody in the game. And when you can control a fighter like that in a fight, it's a great source of confidence. He'll use the body weight to keep you down and prevent any sort of hip escapes because his hips are so strong. Physical freak who will sap your willpower and your gas tank with the best of them. This guy has ridiculous hand speed. Lightning fast punches that come in absolutely swift combinations. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. And now to get us started, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a grappler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in 195 pounds. Fighting out of Osaka, Japan, Big Daddy. And now introducing his opponent, fighting. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 187 pounds. Fighting out of Tanagawa, Japan, Grandmaster. In the action begins, I will meet Targ Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, your referee. Uh, you ready? You ready? Let's well, go how go. good is this? Reminds me of the good old days of pride, the UFC Grand Prix single night tournament. This has been highly anticipated by fight fans around the world. And remember, if you sustain damage, that could affect you later on in this one night tournament. He got tagged there. Well, some of that smooth show, this shot is blocked. Caught him with a punch. Uh, he moves right into that uppercut, Joe. That is not a good look and not something that he can afford to do here moving forward. Kick lands forward there. Looking for the left hook. Tagged him. Slightly deflected. Good maneuvers here to avoid clinching. Didn't quite connect. Punch coming, it's blocked. Hit him hard with that hook. Body kick, look at that. And he's looking for that left. The right hook misses. Switching stances here. Oh, tagged him. Tags him. Well played there to avoid the clinch. Oh, this could be it right here. That one hurt. 
Big punch. And he doesn't get it. Oh! Nice front kick to the body. Five seconds remain in the round. Another takedown attempt here. Oh, he went for the choke. I believe he's in all kinds of trouble now. His guillotine is nasty. He's got it. Oh. Round was almost over, but he sunk in the submission and got the victory. Right, I mean, how do you not admire the focus of this young fighter? You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High-level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. And let's watch it here one more time. Deep submission and the tap. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. So there he is, your winner by way of submission, and how good was that? I mean, you talk about max.